This video is made possible by EA Game Changers. What's going on guys? Ben Glickin here coming back at you with another video. Some more Madden 19 content. Of course, once again, thank you to EA Sports and the Game Changer program for allowing me to record a bunch of this early. And today we're going to be talking about player upgrading. So, these are as things currently stand, and I still can't get over how funny it is seeing John Gruden like talking on his imaginary phone there, for instance, inside uh, his coach's office is what they're calling it. Um, please subscribe if you guys are new down below the video hit the subscribe button currently on the path towards 100,000 subscribers but of course we are talking today about upgrading in Madden NFL 19 franchise mode so if you guys are you know longtime subscribers of the channel you probably know uh, I'm a gigantic franchise guy as John Gruden intently stares at the phone absolutely blown away by it um, but if you guys don't know how franchise works this year uh, it's it's pretty simple so the upgrade system has changed a lot, and if you guys see me looking down to the right, that's where my gameplay is on my laptop, as John Gruden has now made the switch to the computer. You know, discovering electronics really for the first time. But they've completely abandoned the XP system for the most part. Now, you gotta be thinking, what does that mean for the most part? How do you, you know, abandon a system, kind of? So, there is still XP, and when I got the chance to sit down with one of the lead uh, Madden developers Clint Oldenburg if you guys know him I asked him about that and he went and texted somebody for the response uh, And there is still the XP system and how do you accumulate these skill points because that is the new way to upgrade these players uh, And I'm you know just watching over random Madden 19 gameplay until we get to that point point. and uh, He texted back and we got the answer from one of the lead franchise guys I would expect that the skill points and the experience that goes into them is basically a meter and you can see the process of the meter if you click in. It isn't explicitly labeled, which is why I, you know, I asked about it. And as players accumulate XP over the season, it fills up their skill point bar, if you will. Now, it isn't explicitly titled that, but you guys, you know, you're watching the video, you'll know that's what that is. So as you fill up the bar over the course of the season, you know, accomplishing goals and reaching milestones and getting yards and touchdowns and things like that, which you guys are going to see here in a moment. Um you fill up that bar to gain skill points skill points is the new way that you upgrade players now i was looking for it in here and an issue uh that i did pass on to the team and feedback i'm not sure if it's going to be fixed but currently there is no upgrade all feature at the same time like there was last year and in previous years and i think that's a big problem that needs to be addressed before the game actually comes out of course this was an earlier build of the game i played this uh almost a month ago at this point but there needs to be an upgrade all feature that they just don't have right now. And currently, if you wanted to upgrade everybody at the same time, I think what you'd have to do is go into settings, turn on auto progression, and then simulate a week. I think that's probably the only way right now. Um, but regardless, let's go ahead and see into these players. So with the wide, uh, wide receiver, like Mike Williams, who we have, this was a fantasy draft if you guys are wondering why everyone's on different teams. And the overalls, of course, are not final. I cannot stress that enough. But for each different player, there are three to four different categories that you can upgrade. For wide receiver, there is possession, which we just upgraded, which targeted catching, medium route running, and short route running, a new addition to the game this year. There's three different route running, short, medium, and deep. We have possession, we have deep threat, we have red zone threat, and of course we have the fourth one, which is slot. So depending on what you upgrade, it will give one overall to your player at that point now you could upgrade their type to make them an even higher overall even though it only upgrades certain attributes in those specific categories you could upgrade uh how they fit the scheme that you're currently running or you can choose whatever depending on what you want so i kind of just tried to give you guys uh, a bunch of different options to see what each thing might upgrade so if you're doing a wide receiver i wanted to get possession i wanted to get red zone red zone threat i wanted to get slot i wanted to get everything for offensive tackle, you have pass protector, power, and agile. So depending on what you upgrade with power here, it does awareness and then a power of sorts. So lead block, which is a new stat for offensive linemen this year. Uh, and then like pass block power is one. And then for pass protector, it upgraded awareness and then a uh, pass block power again. For certain positions, you have certain attributes that cross over in these departments. So awareness is another one that got upgraded for agile there as we use our skill points on Cam Robinson. 
And of course, you can make uh, each player your captain as I scroll through randomly here. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> of course, this was uh, quite some time ago. But for each player, of course, you do have these different ones that you can choose to upgrade. On the defense side of the ball, I think I go uh, with Dayo Buchanan here, and I do. So we have run stopper for middle linebacker. We have pass coverage. We have power rusher. And what is the last one that I'm missing here? We have speed rusher. So depending on the type of outside linebacker that they are, you're going to want to upgrade different parts to their game. So Dayon Buchanan, who's basically a money backer, a safety playing the linebacker position, not really rushing the passer in a 4-3 style defense, we're obviously not going to have him go after the passer. So we're not going to touch speed rusher. We're not going to touch power rusher. Checking out the stats there for uh, whoever that is. I think it was a rookie that I may have drafted. I don't actually even remember. Um, but for different schemes, you can see how the puzzle pieces fit. And you're going to see... Uh, for Connor Gunheim, who, who we drafted, we're going to have different things to upgrade for different positions. So I think Dalvin Tomlinson, who we check out next. And of course, he's a 3-4 defensive tackle. So what we really want to focus on is run stopper for him, as he's not going to be an edge rusher. So it's not going to be as important to develop him in a speed style the way that it would be with certain other players. You have to look at their attributes and what you want to specifically upgrade to their style. For cornerback, for example, I found this was really cool. With a guy like Darius Slay, we can upgrade his speed. So we got lucky there, and we actually got a speed upgrade, and that is gigantic. Gigantic. It's one of the rarer ones for cornerbacks, but if you get it, it's going to be insanely productive. You can, however, if you're noticing that there aren't a ton of skill points, go into the XP sliders and raise them however much you feel, and you will be able to get that XP bar to go up much faster, and you'll be able to, in turn, upgrade these players much faster, which is uh, certainly a very good thing. And for guards, for tackles, for centers, it's all the exact same on the offensive line. You're going to have the same things. Power, Agile, and Protector, I believe, are the three for offensive line. For tight end, it's interesting. There are three. There's Vertical Threat, possession and blocking now if you upgrade a possession if you upgrade vertical threat that can still target blocking so in my opinion it isn't really worth it to upgrade blocking when you can upgrade other departments and focus on their abilities as a catcher while still upgrading their blocking you can see which each of these you're getting blocking almost every single time in some department with tight ends you upgrade a ton of stats at each time with a tight end so in my opinion if you're going to draft any position to upgrade over the course of time you're going to want to target a tight end and they can be balanced and just continue to get better over time for running back there's elusive back receiving back and power back currently you see the puzzle piece under power back because we're in a power run style scheme but Le'Veon bell is an elusive style back in the game so you can raise his overall by choosing elusive back although if you choose power you can get trucking maybe it really depends on how you want to do it um of course for interior defensive lineman power rusher run stopper speed rusher uh, that's pretty much the same across the defensive line. It's the exact same between all position groups. So for defensive back, it's the same, I believe. Well, okay, excuse me. For cornerback, it's the exact same. For safety, it changes a little bit. Uh, for linebacker, it's all the same uh, on the inside. And then on the outside, it does change because of the specific scheme that you might run, whether it's a 3-4 or a 4-3. I really hate to ramble. Um, I, I just kind of wanted you guys to see the gameplay and kind of get my two cents on the upgrading system in the mode. I actually like it more for the most part. The only thing that I don't love is that you're limited on the skill points that you can get, especially with default sliders. So in the past last year, uh, and it happens in real life, if you have a player that plays really, really well in their rookie season, you could get them up super, super high. So you could see an 83 go all the way up to a, you know, a 90 maybe in their first season. However, in this, it seems like you can only go up one overall at a time so even if you have a really good season with the default sliders and you get what appears to be the max of three uh upgrade points we'll call it skill points is what they're called with that particular player you can only upgrade that equivalent of overall so it would be plus three overall so even if they start out as an 80 play insane have a ton of skill points which i guess is three with the default sliders you're only able to upgrade them to an 83 overall going into their second season some are going to like this change a lot some not so much it seems like with players that you draft this kind of puts a limit on how short of a time it takes to upgrade them so for a guy that does rebuilds like i do quite a bit i think it's going to hinder it a lot because if you draft a rookie quarterback and he's an 83 overall let's say which is an insane overall to start with 
if you play three seasons, three to four seasons, which is like what I like to uh, have my rebuild length are, uh, length speed usually, I don't know, I just turned illiterate for a minute there, um, but he'll only go up to an 86, maybe an 87 overall, which in the past certainly was not enough to lead a team, but we'll have to see how the game changes before launch. I hope you guys understand the upgrade system and how they've still kept experience points, but changed it into skill points and upgrading specific attributes and no longer being able to target you know one attribute at a time but a specific group i should say uh, i like the change a lot overall i think it adds a little bit more fun and a little bit more randomness which can be a good thing let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below please subscribe if you're new i know i was kind of all over the place for this one but i really wanted you guys to get the kind of bare bones experience that i did and experiencing it for the first time and i feel like if i was uh you know prepared a script or something that you guys would be seeing it as a one-sided argument i wanted you know to present both sides and really give you guys my true opinion but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next one take it easy